Training a lot is killing your muscle growth, wasting your time, and preventing you from building the body of your dreams. My name is Rio, and I'm the founder of Polarity Fitness, where we help busy men in their 30s and 40s transform their bodies with minimal time commitment. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why training more to gain more is false, and why doing less is the secret to achieving your dream physique. By the way, if you're a bodybuilder who wants to take steroids and live in the gym, this channel is not for you. But if you wanna build an aesthetic body without living in the gym, you're in the right place. Let's get into the video. Training volume is the amount of training you do in a given workout. This refers to the number of exercises, sets, and reps you perform. Training intensity is how hard you train. Training hard means pushing your sets close to failure, and training to failure means pushing your sets to where you can no longer move the weight despite maximal effort. Arthur Jones once said, you can either train long or you can train hard, but you can't do both. There is a trade-off between volume, the amount of training you do, and intensity, how hard you train. If you're gonna train hard, you can't train as much. If you're gonna train a lot, you can't train as hard. How are you feeling about the workout today? Stiff. <laughs> pretty good though, pretty good. It's a short but very intense workout. Gonna be doing squats, Romanian deadlifts, and some neck curls, two sets each. So literally just six sets total, but don't be fooled by the lack of volume, it's extremely intense. I do low volume, high intensity training for muscle growth because training hard, not long, is what stimulates muscle growth. The duration and quantity of your training is irrelevant. And if you don't believe me, look around your gym at all the people spending hours in the gym every week doing high volume training with no muscle mass. Effective training is about quality not quantity. You can do as much volume as you want, you can spend as much time in the gym as you want, but if you're not training hard enough, you won't gain muscle. Why do you aim to add weight to your lifts every time you go to the gym? Because the primary driver of muscle growth is tension. The weights that you're using right now will at some point not produce enough tension to cause muscle growth because they'll just become too easy because your body will adapt to them over time. So to keep your muscles growing and to keep your body adapting, you need to continue to increase tension levels over time. And the best way to increase tension levels is to continue adding weight to the bar. So for this first set, I'm aiming for 265 for six to eight reps. Last week, I got 260 pounds for eight reps, and so I hit the top end of the rep range, and so I added five pounds going up to 265, and I'm gonna try and at least get six, maybe aim for a couple more. So that's a personal record, that's linear progress. So I added five pounds and still hit eight reps. So that's like gold standard. And that's pretty much only doable on big exercises like squats and deadlifts. Spending hours in the gym and doing a lot of workout volume is not necessary for gaining muscle. And not only is it unnecessary, but it's actually counterproductive. The more volume you do, the more difficult it is to train hard. Because doing a lot of volume will spread you thin and decrease the effort you put into your workouts. So my goal every time I step into the gym is to make a little bit of progress. It's either to add a rep or a little bit of weight to each of my sets. And it's not even that you're gonna do that every single time, but you want to always strive for that little bit of progress. It's that striving for those little bits of progress week by week that over time add up to massive gains. And so training done properly is a lot like a video game. You're always trying to level up, trying to beat the previous version of yourself. And that's what your training should look like as well. So many people just lift the same weights 
it's month by month. They don't strive for that progress, that improvement. And weight training is a game of progressive resistance. If you're not adding weight to the bar over time, your physique's not gonna change. So I'm going for my second set now. And so I always do two sets per exercise. And the first set is always the heaviest set. And then I like to do a lighter back down set for the second set. And so last week on this second set of squats, I got 240 for 10 and I'm working in the eight to 10 rep range. So I hit the top end of the rep range. So in this workout, I add five pounds, go up to 245 and I'm gonna drop to the bottom of the rep range and try and get at least eight. Oh, fuck. Once again, that's linear progress. Added five pounds and kept the reps the same. So when I got into fitness, my strategy for finding training advice was to go on social media, find the guys with the craziest physiques and then mimic their training approach. And so that's what I did for the first year of my training journey. And that got me nowhere. I got zero results following that approach. I was investing so much time, so much effort into the gym for such little results in return. And so for me, it didn't make sense from a lifestyle perspective. So I was like, fuck this. Let's just, let's reduce the amount of time I'm spending in the gym. Let's start working out maybe two to three times a week. And as soon as I did that, the craziest thing happened and what happened was that I started seeing better results and that's when I came to the realization that the reason why the training routines I was following previously didn't work for me is because they're meant for people who take steroids and when you're taking steroids you can recover fast and easy from high volumes of training and you can train very often but that's not a luxury that you have as someone who's not taking drugs and I came to the realization that when you're natural your body responds much better to lower volumes of training. How are you feeling after that set? <sighs> Fucking gassed. See, most people do not train this hard and that's why they think they can be in the gym four to six days a week. If you bring that level of intensity to each of your sets, good luck. Good luck training more than two to three times per week on super brief workout routines. And the beautiful thing is, harder you train the less training you need to build muscle. I'm doing literally three exercises in this workout, just a couple sets each. Since I'm pushing them this hard, this will stimulate a ton of muscle growth and I can get in and out of the gym super quickly. So this is my first set of RDLs and I'm gonna be going for 280 pounds for six to eight reps. My last workout, I got 275 for like nine. So bumping up the weight five pounds, I'm gonna drop to the bottom of the rep range, hopefully get at least six. If you want to build your dream physique working out twice a week, pick up the free minimalist muscle building masterclass. It's the first link in my description. So I'm going for 250 for eight to 10 reps. Last week I got 245 for 12. So I actually went beyond my, my normal rep range. Um, so I'm upping at five pounds and I'm gonna try and get eight to 10 reps.
So the main benefit of low volume training is that you can still build the body of your dreams, but while spending less time in the gym and having more time for the other more important areas of your life. And so when I got into fitness, I was following the mainstream bodybuilding approach and working out six times a week. And eventually I realized that fitness and the gym was taking much more from me than it was giving me. And that's when I started to spend less time in the gym because I felt like I was becoming very one dimensional. I felt like the other areas of my life were starting to lag behind as a result of my obsession with fitness, right? It consumed my everyday thoughts. It took so much time out of my week. And I realized like, what's the main purpose of fitness, right? It's to enhance your life. It's to act as a vehicle to improve your life. And for me, that's not what fitness was doing. Fitness was actually taking much more from me than it was giving me. And so the benefit of low volume training is that you can still get all of the life enhancing benefits of building an incredible physique, but without having to sacrifice different areas of your life. On most exercises, I try and squeeze out every rep that I can do using good form. What that usually looks like is zero reps in reserve. There's some exercises where it's very dangerous to push to true failure. And so for example, on a barbell back squat, I don't want to actually fail a rep, right? Cause that wouldn't be safe. That increases your risk of injury. Certain exercises like squats, even bench press, where it's like, you don't want to get stapled. You want to squeeze out every rep that you can do in good form, but rack the bar before you actually fail. But it's really important to note that most people just are nowhere near that level in their sets. Most people leave three to five reps in reserve on every single set. And that's why they don't grow muscle. So I'm just doing some neck curls with 55 pounds. I'm gonna try and get like 15 to 20 reps. I'm not shooting for any sort of personal records here, just trying to kind of replicate what I've been doing. My neck is already pretty strong and thick. I'm not too worried about continuing to like add more and more weight to this exercise. I just wanna get some work into the neck. Most people's mindset when they go into training is completely wrong. Most people think that when they go into the gym, the goal is to do as much as possible and trash themselves. And they have this like hardcore mindset of like, I'm gonna spend hours in the gym. I'm gonna do as much volume as I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush my legs until I can't walk. It's like, that is not what you wanna do unless you're taking steroids. Because think about how hard it's gonna be for your body to recover and grow from that. The goal of training, and this is a huge mindset shift for a lot of people, is to actually do the minimum amount of training volume that you need to stimulate growth. That's gonna be much easier for your body to respond to. So if you can, stimulate growth in just two sets versus having to do five or six, your body's gonna have an easier time responding to that. The goal of training is to go into the gym, stimulate muscle growth with a very small quantity of hard training, and then get out of the gym, rest, recover, and then come back a little bit bigger and stronger. To make low volume training work, you must train hard and make every set count. You cannot go through the motions if you're going to succeed with a low volume training approach. You need to squeeze out every single rep you can do using good form on every set. This means leaving zero reps in reserve on every single set you do, and where it's safe to do so, you should push your sets to failure. The whole point of doing a low volume training approach is to enable you to train harder. But if you don't train hard, you will not get results. When most people don't see gains, they assume that the issue is that they're not doing enough volume. So they throw in more sets, more exercises, more training days, but a lack of volume is rarely the issue. The issue is almost always a lack of intensity. Most people do not train hard enough and that's why they don't see results.
people always find it funny that I take neck curls so seriously. I would impress upon you to build a jacked upper body and then don't train your neck and see what you look like and see if you're, you're content with how you look. So many guys have like big shoulders, big chest, big arms, and then they have this tiny neck and it just throws off the aesthetic of your physique so much. So like neck curls, building a thick, strong neck is one of the most important elements to an aesthetic physique. If you, fuck man, if you train really, fuck, 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 fuck. That last part keeps fucking me, man. Because the more, fuck, the only, fuck. And pushing your sets close to failure, fuck dude. That next part there is like, a whole different ball game, you know? Starting to become, fuck, fuck. Redo that, redo that. When most people, fuck, sets to failure, I'm gonna kill. Okay, fuck it. Let's do, let's, let, 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 let's use the other one. 